Good morning, this is Jean-Yves Canot for CGS TV. Uh, this morning we're interviewing Jason Mayer from uh, DreamWorks Animation. Uh, he is responsible for simulation animation. So what does a simulation animator do? Uh, well, we take anything that's not moving, or that moves that's not actually attached to a character and uh, make it move. So any kind of naturalistic effect like rain or water or destruction is kind of my specialty. Uh, but the, the topic of what I spoke about today was uh, water simulations in the penguins of Madagascar. And can you give us a bit more detail about your lecture today? Yeah, it was, uh, it's part of the dailies format, which is a short form. Uh, you get 90 seconds, it's really fast paced. Uh, you bring up a problem that was raised on the production, or sometimes it's student work as well, and sometimes it's personal projects. But in my case, it was for the specific production for Penguins of Madagascar. And uh, we had a situation where there was a penguin who was taunting some seals. The seals broke through an aquarium case. The penguin rides a seal across the, pe the floor hits an octopus dressed like a human in a diving suit, and then they're like, okay, so we want a realistic, somewhat realistic water simulation in that completely unrealistic setting. Sounds very easy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And so not only do you have to figure out a, you know, your water simulation stuff, but what you have to work out is, because you have different departments uh, all working in concert together, so you have a layout department that comes in and works the camera. But if you don't have the water that's kind of driving the action, they don't know where so they have to rough in the camera, and then they rough in the characters. And then the character animators are like, well, we can't really animate to the performance of the water because you're, the seal and the penguin are in the water. So then it comes to us, and we simulate this long, trying to match what layout kind of basic timing. So they just put like little dots in there, like, okay, it's kind of moving like this. And then we have to actually go in and make it look like splashes. And then after that, then it goes back to the animators. It's a lot of chicken and egg, back and forth. They refine, we refine, they refine, we refine. And eventually we get to the place where they find all their stuff. And then we get to go in and split each shot up. And then we can like de deal with like levels of detail on a per shot basis. So we had No animators were injured in the process? <laughs> no, 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 no. Although there was a uh, octopus that took quite a beating. But uh, yeah, it, you know, it's, it's, it's always that fun kind of thing where they're like, oh yeah, you know, well, what would the gravity really be? And you're like, come on, you got to suspend disbelief here. We're talking about a penguin on a seal. Like, are you, the audience, you know, it's, it's about like pulling back from what traditional 2D animation did. You know, no one ever, when I mean, you're hand drawing this stuff, said, oh, well, that's not realistic. You know? Trust me, I've seen weirder in downtown LA. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. It's, uh, yeah, so it, it, it's interesting. It's, uh, it's really fun. I mean, you work in simulation, this is a really cutting edge thing. I mean, how do you see this technology evolving in the future? I mean, what, what's, what, scare, what, what scares you right now? Uh, destruction is one of the hardest things that's still, because you got to figure out how to fracture or pre-fracture or fracture on the fly. Uh, I think there's, you know, ultimately what it does is about complexity. Like, the faster the computers get, the more, like, uh, sophisticated the software gets, the more complexity you get added in as an artist. So you're always looking and you always look and you, you do something and you're like, that looks really good. And then five years later, you look back and you're like, Ugh. And, and I think if you ever get to the point where you look back and you're like, that looks good, then it's kind of like, okay, it's time probably to step back because it's continuously pushing the envelope and trying to make things more complicated, look better, you know. How much of you is an artist and how much of you is an engineer or a technician? Because it sounds like something that would be rather technical. Yeah, I would say in, in a, just a, broad spectrum of most simulation kind of effects artists. They tend towards the computer science degrees. I kind of came up through a painting degree. <laughs> so it was it was more like, hey, I'm not gonna get a job as a painter unless I want to paint houses. So uh, I went into and got my uh, master's degree for computer animation. And then I kind of uh, gravitated towards the effects stuff just because, you know, you, it's the cool stuff, man. Like you get to blow stuff up, you get a you know. Did you ever blow something up for real in the office? Not in the office, <laughs> but sometimes maybe a little outside the office or at home, and we will shoot it for reference. Because uh, even though we are in unrealistic settings, what we've always done at DreamWorks especially is kind of try to ground our effects in a more realistic. Like I started actually in live action as well. So, so I think the first film I worked on was Day After Tomorrow about, you know, 13, 14 years ago. And so that right off the bat was like, okay, you're going to do a tidal wave that's coming over, you know, New York City. And so, so you, you, there's a lot of kind of that back and forth between animation and effects, at least 
and effects artists, like from the visual effects world into the animation world. We get people that come over from all the big studios and vice versa, they go to the big studios back and forth because there's still a level of realism that the audience expects even in an animated movie. So it's kind of balancing that level of realism with what you've learned as an artist for like composition and color and timing and the traditional kind of, you know, old master like concepts of squash and stretch and you know, the, so you pull those animation principles into visual effects. It makes for a nice marriage. Awesome. Well, Jason, thank you very much for your time. And if you want to blow things up, go apply, send your resume to DreamWorks. Apparently it works really good. Thank you very much. This is Jean-Eric for CGS TV.